Hey guys, I'm glad you're here. Today's project is this Troy built four cycle edger. And the problem is, is that it's very hard to start. Today, we're gonna look at another way of starting it that's much easier. The best thing about this edger is that it's very light and easy to use, mainly because it uses a trimmer style engine versus a conventional engine from a lawnmower. But the worst thing about this edger is it's really hard to start. I haven't gone through the carburetor yet, mainly because I want to show everybody that you can still use your equipment, you just got to find a way around the problems. So how do we get around this problem? Well, this Troy belt uses their jump start to electrically start the engine versus pulling on the rope. So this is the jump start right here and at $40 is an easy way to turn your equipment from a manual start to an electric start. The part that couples the engine looks like an Allen key, except this one has five sides where an Allen has six. I had a friend who had a four cycle Troy built engine with a jump start on the back. Instead of going out and buying the correct tool, he ended up using an Allen and cutting it off and using it instead on a drill. He ended up damaging the part of the receiver on the back of the engine. So what you're supposed to do is plug in the jump start into a wall outlet Mount the jump start to the back with equipment and then press the power button until it starts. Let's put the edger on the ground where it's a little bit safer. Prime the fuel system with the primer bulb and then try using the jump start and see how long it takes to start. If you don't want to spend $40 for this jump start, there is a cheaper option where you can just buy the drill adapter, which is a quarter of the price. Unfortunately, it took 9 to 10 seconds for it to start using the jump start. I would be curious to know what the time difference is once we go through the carburetor. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you found it very informative. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video.